Hey, it's John. I'm with my buddy John, and we're at the Eagle Lakes wheeling in. We tried to find a bunch of eagles. We couldn't find any eagles here. We hiked all these Eagle Lakes, but we did listen to the eagles, and it's almost as good. Stay tuned. Go wheel. Here today we're going into Eagle Lakes on breaks off of Fordyce right up ahead. Gonna check that out today. Pierce is over there. Hopefully we can get a camp spot at Eagle. My buddy John here, he brought a drone. Maybe we'll get some drone footage in this video. That'd be super sweet. All right, so the beginning of Eagle Lakes and Pierce is pretty easy. Um, you might not even need four wheel drive up until Drive Line Hill. This section right here can get really deep in the early spring. Uh, when you have a lot of snow still on the trail um, or even early summer sometimes where it's just deep all the way up to the roots so yeah it's pretty smooth sailing up until driveline hill um, here you can see like i said maybe use four high right here is a tricky little section but it's really easy it just you know a little bit of granite to get a little tippy on nothing major today we're gonna do some fancy wheeling on fordice awesome all right, here's the approach to Driveline Hill, and you know, it did help us to have 35 inch tires and lockers front and rear. There was a point where we had to back up, we'd actually diffed out on some rocks and did have to turn the lockers on. Otherwise, it is pretty easy. I feel like you could do it 35s open, open if you wanted to, probably even 33s, no problem. We're coming up to the bypass on the left for Driveline Hill, and we'll be taking that bypass. I don't feel like doing Driveline solo with JL. Here, we're almost to our campground at Eagle Lakes, and we timed it. We took our sweet time, we stopped a lot. I mean, from the parking lot to basically camp at Eagle is about 45 minutes. We made the turn off to Eagle Lakes, and here we are going down to the left turn to the first Eagle Lake. Pretty easy, like almost two-wheel drive dirt road. This loops around, but it doesn't. So the funny thing is this little loop right here, dude, mm -hmm. shows a loop road. Yeah. But when you go to the loop over here, there is there's, no loop, there's, no there's a sheer cliff. Oh, fuck. Like that you could tell, we hiked it last time we came here with like, it was like me and uh, Alan, not mm -hmm. the Alan, you know, not the Alan I was talking, or not the yeah. Alan I was talking earlier with Alan, Alan from uh, the Bay, or we call him Bay Area Alan, Reno Alan. So Barry Allen with his daughter, I the one that, okay, yeah, you met him before yeah. with Dean, maybe? Yep. Yeah, he's a good dude. Yeah, so those guys, and so they came out, and I think we had Bill Souza and Dan, Bill Souza's son-in-law Dan, mm -hmm. and we went here for like a day trip, and uh, well, there's no one here. Sick. Or, I don't, do you see a car? No. Nope. I, I see the lake, though. Yeah, the lake's really far down, though, but both these spots are like that. No, I just gotta watch that stuff though, so we don't hit like too hard. Oh, it's got a little loop though. So. Well, but no, but the road, when you look at the map, and we, we were out here at the map, and like you can tell it's, it used to go around, and mm -hmm. there's another camp spot somewhere over there, I guess. But uh, yeah, kind of crazy. This is our spot? Yeah, this oh, yeah. is what I was thinking. Yeah, this is perfect. So, yeah. I was we, gonna say, like, if this isn't our spot, we should make it. If we didn't get this spot, I think we'd have to wheel into Pierce, like wheel back out and go and oh, wheel into Pierce. This site's sick. Never camped here. I've only driven here. It's really small, so it's. I wonder like, if that far. You said we the, the lake's right there. Yeah, it's just a big drop down. And there's no uh, direct path like you. Okay. All right, we're here in camp, and now it's time to set up our tents and set up our gear. You have a really good view of the lake at this spot, but to hike down to it is a bit of a trek. You have to kind of walk through all those bushes over there to get around it. I 
an Alps Mountaineering six person uh, Merrimack tent, and then an Ozark Trail air mattress with a built in pump, and then I use the Jackery to power it up. It goes really quick, it uses 1% battery. I'm getting the chairs, the ladder golf, and the kitchen set up off of the roof rack. Here's one of the super cool camping gear checklist stickers that I made. I actually used it for this trip, pretty rad. I got this Coleman camp kitchen set up like 10, 15 years ago at Walmart for 39 bucks and I've had it ever since and it works amazing. You can take the fridge out of the Jeep and put it anywhere you want with the Jackery. Seeing some of your in your videos, dude. I, I swear by them now. And I bought it like on Amazon. The next day, we had a power outage in our house. And like the first time we had one, like I didn't get it yet. Like it was uh, in the mail. And I was like, son of a bitch. It would have been really nice to have that thing. I use them all the time because we get lots of power outages that are under yeah, eight hours. And so like. If it's under eight hours, I'll plug the 500 into my, uh, plug my power strip for my whole office into the 500. It'll run the office for like the day, during the day, but I charge it all day and it would charge it back up at the solar panel. Wow. And they, they don't come with the solar panels, right? That's what you have to buy it. Actually. You gotta buy them. I yeah. bought a 60 watt. Cause mine didn't have one and I was like, it, they're like 300 bucks or 200 bucks. Yeah, that's what I said. So this fridge right now is only using two watts. That's sick. It's How short. much of the fridge? It's 200 bucks. What? Yeah. It's about used or new? Brand new. That was new, 200 bucks? 219, with which tax it was like 230. We went super easy for dinner tonight and just did uh, cheeseburgers with some chips and maybe some potato salad. Happy, basic bitch. Mandolin. Yeah, I used. The, I actually did use a mandolin. All right, here we are playing ladder golf. It's one of my favorite camping activities. Is ladder golf? It's so fun. You can play it for hours. Yes. Good. All right. about the lake John got a lot of skaters <laughs> <laughs> <It's> pretty <laughs> so yeah we're doing a chorizo 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 baked potato scrambled egg hash I literally just baked three cheap little baby potatoes last night before two nights ago before we came out chorizo is like two or three bucks a tiny little bit of shredded cheese from a cheese block in the fridge and then a bunch of eggs cracked into a water bottle and uh, super easy breakfast. I'm sure it's gonna taste pretty good. It's so funny. I can't help it. Taking a big old chorizo. There's the pour over. Friends of the Rubicon Cup. A little cheap GSI outdoors thing. He's got some chai tea stuff. Here's our eggs that are still frozen that we need to unfreeze. Chorizo. That was a bunch of eggs too, so perfect. Chorizo potato scramble. See how it goes. Cheap. Lots of food. Soon as I wake up, I packed everything in the tent. The floor is wet. The ground's still pretty wet up here. Um, even though it looks dry and I think it's wet, condensation, whatever. Air mattress, so it's covered in water on the backside, so letting that dry. Super cool view of the lake though.
I hate putting on sunscreen, but you gotta do it. It just makes all the dust and the sweat feel even more grimy. All right, so for toilet stuff, use a wag bag. These are off Amazon going to our toilet kit. You put the big bag in there, the, the, the trash bag size one. You poop in that, and then you put it in the Ziploc bag. And then what I like to do is put it in a third bag. And then it goes in the trash bag, and then we dump that in the trash when we get home. Um, this campground had a lot of toilet paper around it, which is heavily, heavily disappointing. People need to learn to get the shit together and use wag bags, or if you have to poop in the woods, dig like a, a two foot, one and a half foot deep hole, cover it with dirt, put rocks over it. Don't just poop over the top of the dirt and dump toilet paper. Don't know what's wrong with you people who do that. I know most of you don't do that. And that kind of behavior is what gets trails like the Rubicon almost shut down, you know, 20, almost 20 years ago. So please use wag bags when you can. There's tons of them on Amazon or your local sporting goods store. I just used this little $25 Amazon toilet. And then yeah, toilet paper, go take a hike. You can, you can get a little privacy bathroom thing that's like a tent. I don't want to bring the extra stuff and set it up. Um, I just take a hike. Sometimes when you take a hike, you take a risk that you'll be pooping with friends if someone walks up on you, but then you get the, then you get to poop with friends. So it's not the end of the world. Um, but I recommend taking a long hike, finding a good spot. So yeah, we're going around this campsite and picking up a lot of trash. There's a lot of shotgun shells here too that weren't picked up. Pick up your brass, pick up your shells, put a tarp down before you shoot and catch your brass and your shells. Then it's really easy to funnel it into a trash bag. Don't be a freaking dick and leave all your trash around the campsite. Um, we're going to go around and pick up everything we can pick up, but we're not going to get all the glass today. It's pretty rad. Beaver dam. That's why the water's so high, I guess. They're damming off the inlets or something in here, or whatever they're doing. Pretty cool, though. There's a bunch of beavers. There's a bunch of beavers living in there, which is really cool. All right, we stayed for two nights, came in Friday, headed out Sunday morning, had a great time, and here's us on our way out. So we're heading home from Fordyce, from Eagle Lakes. Just aired up. Um, found a loose sway bar end link bolt on the front that I had been hearing this clunk for a while now. And uh, it got worse on this trip, and we finally figured it out. Thank God it wasn't something else. Uh, it was driving me nuts. And then we did lose a rear upper sway bar end link bolt. Um, so that was something that on the way in, I heard a new clunk. It sounded like a sway bar bolt came loose. The way it was handling felt like one of the, 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 the driver's side rear sway bar end link was off. And when we got to airing up, I checked it and sure enough it was. So I gotta go get some new longer bolts. The Hellwig rear sway bar and my Hellwig sway bar installation video is coming out soon. I kind of show that the, the thicker sway bar means that uh, the, the bolts that come with the Rubicon Express end links that I had on there didn't fit anymore. And I kind of, you know, with the, with the stover nut for the lock nut, so I kind of ended up uh, just tightening it as much as I could, hoping it wouldn't come off. Dude, I remember one time when I, there was a car up, like, I don't know how, but he like went off this, went off of this and was smashed up in here and there was no one there yet. And there was just a car like upside down, right, like right there. Wow. Anyways, so yeah, you could feel you could feel that driver rear lifting while we're driving home. So we got one side of the sway bar on, adding some stability. Um, but you could feel a little bit of wandering. It might have even happened before the trail because there was a point coming to the trail on Friday where when I was doing a lane change and a turn, it suddenly felt like the rear lifted and wanted to get sloppy on me. And uh, I thought, man, that felt that felt like some rear rear slop like maybe the sway bar came off so i don't know if it happened on the way there or if it happened on the trail uh but yeah that's it so yeah stay tuned so thanks for following along today uh, we got some other trips planned hopefully hit up sterling lake bowman lake i think we're going to come back to eagle lake soon and camp at another eagle lake in the near future so please if you can like subscribe click notifications all that good stuff that youtube uh likes that helps my little baby channel grow and uh, see you guys next time thank you